Today we'll be talking about square roots, and in this video you will learn how to find square roots, how to use square roots with geometric shapes, and how to solve an equation for x using square roots. And before we get started, there are a couple things to know about square roots. Every whole number has a square root. Most numbers do not have a perfect square as their root, and it comes out as a decimal, but every whole number in these examples will have a perfect square root. Now, the symbol for a square root is also known as a radical. This tells us it has a mathematical root. And so by finding these roots, you are given the length of each dimension. Now, we normally don't see a two placed on the radical in this way. It's kind of like an imaginary two, but what this is telling us is how many roots we are going to find with or needing to find with this square root. And remember, those roots have to be the exact same number. And remember, a root and a factor are the same. And so this is also will tell us that if we're discussing a two-dimensional shape. So when we're discussing a square root, we are going to be talking mainly about a square. And so the number underneath the radical, which is known as a radicand, tells us what the area is of the square. Now, when we find our roots, we find the length of each dimension of the square. Now, all four sides are the same, and so when we find our root, we will know what the length and the width will be. Let's go ahead and get some practice using these ex with these two examples. Our first example is with radical 25. Now, if we look at radical 25, we know that in this square root, we are going to have two dimensions. And what two numbers being the same number is going to give me 25? And so we know that 5 times 5 is going to be 25. These are my roots. Now, if I want to simplify 5 times 5 and write it as an exponent, I'm going to use my base, which is the root. And how many times do I have my roots here? We're going to have 2. So this bottom number is going to be my base. Now my roots and my bases pretty much mean the same thing. Now for my math tip today, a square number, in this case x squared, is the inverse of the square root of that number. And so here, if I have the square root of 25, this is going to give me 5. And 5 squared will give me 25. So these are inverse operations of each other. Now, if I want to look at it with a geometric point of, from a geometric point of view, I know that the number, the radicand, is 25. That is going to be the area of the square. So this square has 25 square units. Now, the root, or the base, is going to tell me what the length is on each side of the square. So in this case, we have 5, and going across, it's going to be 5 as well. So 5 times 5 is going to give me how many units that are inside the square. If I see it as an equation, and say for instance, I know that a square has 25 square units, and I don't know the side, and I have an x value here and an x value here, x times x is going to give me x squared. And x squared is going to equal the area of 25. Now, knowing that the inverse operation of a square number is a square root, I can go ahead and square root x squared. And then I'm also going to do it on the other side and square root 25. So a square root cancels out or is the inverse operation of a square number, leaving me x by itself, and radical 25 is going to be 5. Let's go ahead and try another example, square root of 81. So we know that we have two factors of 81. 
So we know that 7 times 7 is 49, 8 times 8 is 64, and 9 times 9 is 81. So my two roots, or to my two factors, are going to be 9. So the root is 9. Square root of 81 is 9. If I will go ahead and simplify this as an exponent, it is going to be 9 raised to the second power. Now, in looking at the geometric shape, I will then see that 81 is square units is the area inside this square. And if I said that this value was x and this value was x, we know that x squared is equal to 81. Now, using my inverse principles, I know that the square root of x squared is going to give me a value of x, and the square root of 81 is going to equal 9. So both sides, or all four sides, of this square is going to be x equals 9. So in conclusion, one of the math tips, another math tip for you today is to create a table for an easy reference that you're going to reference back and forth. And in the description below, I will go ahead and put a PDF copy of this um, template for you to help you out with your practice. As you memorize your square roots, it's going to get easier and easier for you. Thank you so much. This is our introduction to square roots. Remember to download your free worksheet in the description below. And as always, subscribe, like, and share. Appreciate your time, and I will see you again.